Hello, 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 God's beautiful people. Uh, I know it's been a minute. I'm just here for a little itty bitty minute. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara and God uses me to speak into the lives of his children. If you are returning, welcome back. Ah, today is beautiful. Why? Because the alert made it, okay? <laughs> I welcome you all in the mighty name of Jesus, but in all seriousness, um, Oh, I had a plethora of dreams, but, um, yeah, they kind of slip my memory. They do that sometimes. They slip my memory and then the lurk be like, Jesus, remind her again. So that's what had happened. Okay. So I was on social media and I came across this story that was talking about someone being electrocuted and instantly I was taken back to a scene in the dream that I had last night, this morning, sometime like that. And as I began to pray and ask the Lord, what was it that he wanted me to, did he want me to warn? Was it a warning for me? Somebody I know and the Holy Spirit began to speak. Listen, God said, warn my people. I don't know who this is for. I don't even know if it's for more than one person, but I know if it's at least for one, God says, be mindful. Cause in this dream, it was as if there was a body of water and electricity. A body of water and electricity. And it was as if in the dream, there was a warning for somebody. Listen, be vigilant. Be vigilant. Pay attention. Okay? I have prayed, I have bound it, I have declared it to every demonic attack by the enemy shall return to him, okay? Return to sender, that it shall cause no harm for the person or people that it was intended, okay? I need you all to do the same and just be vigilant because the enemy is mad, Okay, there are, God is moving. God is moving. Let me tell you something. I know I was like about a week or so ago, real discouraged because I know, I, I know, I, 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 I gotta say it like I feel it. I'm gonna just say it like I feel it. Okay, I know my Jesus. And I was confused about the environment I was in. And I'm like, okay, Lord, this just doesn't seem like what you prepared me for. This doesn't seem as if this is where you were sending me. Let me tell you something. When you begin to feel like something is heavy in you, take that thing before the Lord. Don't just flee from it. Don't just run from it. Take it before the Lord. Because in all of it, God kept saying assignment, assignment, assignment. So here I am thinking my assignment is to fix this place because it, whew, it just need a fix it. But my assignment was a person. Come on through, Lord. It was a person. And once I who the Holy Spirit confirmed that thing for me. And I normally just be in my office to myself, minding my business. And this person walked up and let me tell you something. When the Holy Spirit began to speak, this person just broke down <laughs> and the tears began to fall. And I knew then that was my assignment. My assignment is done. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You don't ever know. It is just like the Lord to send me place to place. God don't have to send you to, for a whole group of people. He can send you somewhere for one person. And I'm learning as I'm going. And then after that, the very same day, the Lord just dropped another opportunity right in my lap because my assignment <laughs> was done. Let me tell you something. God loves his children. 
and he will kick in doors, tear down walls. There is nothing the Lord will not do to get a message to his children. Understand that is love. That is, that's why God needs us. He needs us on the ground. He needs us to be willing to not know the full picture, but to say, Lord, I trust you. This is not the message that I thought I was going to give, but this is for somebody. Listen, we have to take ourselves out of that thing and allow God to be God. Allow Jesus, Jesus traveled. He sat at the well to address one woman. Let me tell you something. We have to be ready to go where God says go. Be willing to do what he says do. Give the message that he says to give the message. Give the warnings that he said to give. Give the blessings that he said to give. If they receive it, they receive it. If not, take the blessing with you and shake the dust from your feet. Let me tell you something of the dirt from your feet. God needs us on the ground. And he needs us to be willing to go where he says go. Do what he says do. Let me tell you something. This wasn't the best of neighborhoods that I went to. Not the best of facilities. But God had a child there that needed a confirmation, that needed a word, that didn't think they were hearing clearly. Let me tell you something. You got to be ready to do what God says do, when he says do it, how he says do it, and don't doubt that it was all for a purpose. When I gave God my yes, send me, I'll go. Ooh, woo, woo. I did not know what that entailed. But I'll do it again. I will. I'll do it all over again. But back to that warning. Be vigilant, y'all. The enemy is not happy because we are out here and we are doing what thus says the Lord and we're winning souls and we're speaking lives into his children and the enemy is not happy. But I need you to keep on going. And just be vigilant. Pay attention. Don't you let the enemy knock you off your foundation. God is using us in this season. And like I said, the devil mad. He big mad. But it's okay because I'm going to keep, keep on keeping on and do what thus says the Lord. But y'all be vigilant. A body of water is what he showed me and some type of electrical issue. So be mindful, be mindful, whether it's at home, whether you're out and about, pay attention, stay prayered up, cover yourself, cover your family, cover the people that's attached to you, cover the people you don't even know. Just make sure that you are doing what God places on your heart to do. I love y'all and I'll be back with another word from the Lord. Uh